All right, guys, so I have just been painting, so I'm not going to show you my face because I look like a mess, but I wanted to show you guys a quick little office tour just because I've made some changes and I thought it would be fun to show you. So, sorry about that. So the first thing that I am showing you is my new Erin Condren cover wall. And um, before, I actually had, I think, those two up, and so I added some more. So now I'm able to keep all of my covers all in one spot on display. And I mean, come on, how gorgeous are all of those? So you want to display those. Um, so I have plenty of room. I have like my new planner there and then some notebooks and stuff on the bottom shelf. So I still have plenty of room to grow. So that is that wall. And on the bottom, I just have two of the Erin Condren pillows. Um, you'll see my office is very um, blossom print and that's it, it's kind of a bummer because that's actually retired now I think so I did have a couch there we moved it into Macy's room so now I don't really know what I'm gonna do with those but I love them so I keep them there then um, you have like the entryway here and um, up above I have my meal planner notebook. So we use that every single week for meal plans. I also have some of my portfolios. I have like a regular clutch here and then this is the old, this is the bigger portfolio. So just a little bit of storage there. And then of course I have a few things hanging. I have um, one of my older purses, I have some of the elastic bands, I have some of the totes, and um, all of those. So lots of Erin Condren stuff you guys can see. And then here on my bookshelf, um, the bookshelf is actually from Target as well as a lot of the things that I'm going to show you. So I'll try and make sure to let you guys know where things are from really quickly. Those are from Ikea. I believe they're $9 a shelf. They have the option for those large ones and then they also have a small version as well. Um, this little case here, um, this little shelf is from Target as well. I think that was like $20 or something like that. And um, this bookshelf is also from Target and it goes along with the desk that you'll see. So up above, I just have some of Macy's chat books. If you guys are not familiar with those, make sure to check them out. They're pretty amazing. Then I have in the middle is my technology bin. I call that technology because it's just wires and random stuff that sometimes I need, not all the time, so I just keep it there. And then here is a picture from Jason and Macy's father-daughter dance. Super cute. I love having that. Macy decorated it, of course. And then, of course, I just have a ton of Erin Condren stuff. So here I have some of the hardbound... Um, I think these are like the undated versions. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them yet. And then I have some notebooks and then some just random stuff in here, postcards, gift labels, stuff like that. I have my stationery set. This came in the surprise box. Just still, I haven't used them yet. And then in here is just some random stuff, coupon codes. Um, I have washi, just, I mean, everything. It's kind of a catch-all thing. And then down below I have some of the petite planners and then just a little picture from my sister's wedding. So um, I just like having those. I, I haven't used the budget planner. I've used um, those two. So I might give the, that away at some point, but I haven't really made up my mind. And then down below, these are a lot of my CPA notebooks. So those will stay along with my CPA books. Here I just have like a catch-all type of thing for a lot of the Erin Condren pens, the dry erase markers, stuff like that. It's just nice to have them all in one spot. And then I have some of my old uh, planny packs below. So there's just a lot of like markers and you know craft type of things there. And then here I have all of my stickers organized. So I have um, sticker books in one. I have washi for my budgets in one. I have older stickers, like I said. These are notebooks. And then this is for my sticky notes that I have extra of. And then these are things that I just haven't put away yet. And then I have my note cards for the CPA that I'm reviewing now. Down below, I just have some cute boxes from Erin Condren. When I need space, I'll move those. I have a notepad, a 
binder from Erin Condren and like I said all my CPA materials on the wall I always keep my camera charger just because it's really easy when I'm done filming to just plop it on there and make sure that it's charged and then I also have a little hook for my headphones because usually when I'm editing or working on the CPA stuff Macy is sleeping and so I like to have those plugged into my computer and ready to go when it's time to study down below um, below my desk is a trash can excuse all the wires I just haven't had a ton of time to do anything with them and then here is my desk so things have changed quite a bit on this side as well so um, I think what you guys have seen um, was probably the Erin Condren print. I added a clock so that I could keep track of studying and stuff. I added some folders there. That Those folders are from Erin Condren. And the actual like acrylic type of thing is from co the container store. So super cute. I love that. I have bills, YouTube, and then file away. So um, just like, you know, our utility bills. And then if I buy anything that I need to keep for tax reasons, that is for that. I think you get a four pack. So there's an extra one back there that I just don't use yet. Um, so that is nice. I have, of course, my mouse pad from Erin Condren in the Blossom. A really old picture of me, Jason, and Macy. I need to update that. And then in my um, pencil holder or pen holder, I have a ton of pens. I have some of the Inkjoy pens. I have highlighters. Just anything that I might need to just grab to make a list or something like that. This chair is from TJ Maxx, I believe. Maybe Home Goods. I think it's Home Goods. I got it for like probably $150 or something. And I love that it's like a traditional desk chair but it's comfy and it's super cute with all of um, the detail definitely nice for um, definitely nice for studying and working on videos and everything something that I have added I added the lamp that is also from home goods and I think it was like $30 but it's just nice because there's not a ton of light in my office and so that definitely helps I added my diploma, so I have my Illinois State Diploma and then my Elmhurst College Diploma. I obviously covered up my last name because I don't want to share that. And then above, I just have some of the Erin Condren notepads. I use these a lot for like ch checklists and stuff like that. I have some envelopes for when I need to do bills and stuff. And then this is my converter that I use for um, importing my videos. I have some cute rose gold paper clips and then some pink ones. And then up here I just keep my um, CPA planner because I don't actually take that a lot with me. And then with the CPA planner I just have some note cards and stuff in this cute little tote and I feel like it goes really well with that. I have this file cabinet from Ikea. So um, that's where I keep all of our important documents and I just, I seriously love the way that it looks. I love coming into my office now because I feel like everything that I want is just in one space and it's perfect. Sorry about the squeaky floors guys. It is a struggle in an old house. So here's my filming setup and I've showed this before. I need to get new curtains because those are horrible. But um, I love the spot because everything is set up. I know a lot of people probably thought I was weird when I got two desks of the same exact thing, but I love that everything is set up. Seriously, all I have to do is, you know, put my, com my camera up, turn on my lights, and I am ready to go. I usually keep a pen and keep the same pens that I always use over here along with some scissors, a um, ruler, seriously everything that I need. A lot of my camera stuff stays in here just in case I need it and it's ready to go. My tripod is always set up so that I can just film showing like down below. That is my budget planner. I usually keep that there unless I need to like pay bills and stuff. And this cute little chair is the one that I used to have on my regular desk. So it's perfect for just filming. And then, of course, I have an Aaron Condren throw. Sometimes it's cold in my office, so I like to have that there to make it a little bit more cozy. Again, excuse all of the crazy 
cords and stuff. I definitely need to figure that out, but that is kind of it for my office tour. It's, there's a lot going on on this side. And then of course on the other wall here, my phone, I'm super popular apparently today. <laughs> So I love, I seriously love the way that it's set up and I'm so grateful that Jason helped me make it exactly the way that I want. In here, I'm not going to show you because it's seriously a mess. I have a bunch of like my older books above on some um, bookshelves or not really bookshelves, but they're just shelves. I have a huge stack, seriously stack of Erin Condren boxes and I keep those mostly because I like to give gifts in them. They're perfect for wrapping. It's seriously super easy. So I just, I literally just keep the, um, the wrapping paper and the bubble wrap in there and I just put the gifts in and wrap the box and it's perfect. Um, I also have like craft stuff in the other side. I have a lot of my like lighting bags and stuff like that in there as well. So that is my office tour. Like I said, not a ton has changed, but a few of you guys asked to see it and I figured I like to see updated videos even if it's kind of the same. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If I did forget to mention where something was from, make sure to let me know down below. Um, I will also try and link a few things because I know a lot of people ask about the desk and about the bookshelf. Um, so I'll try and link those down below as well. So anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, like I said, just let me know. All right guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.